Hello, VC. Hello, good people. Cheers. It's Chris, your blues guy. Welcome back to Blues Guy Vinyl. Thank you very much for joining me here today. So, finally, I finally got my, uh, my videos done for my $1 record haul from my shopping excursion at Recordland a couple of weeks ago. I finally got everything put together here. So part one of a two-part will be this video right now where I'm going to just show a quick little flip through of some of the, you know, the, some of the more basic stuff, if you will. Um, and then at the end, I've saved a few records just as some goodies to show you at the end of that little flip through video. So before those goodies at the end, we'll do this little flip through. And then when that's finished, we'll come back to me here and then I'll show you some of those, those goodies. Right. So as you can see, a little bit of a mixed bag there, but uh, there was a lot of Jay Giles band because I was bound and determined to actually uh, sort of fill in as much of my Jay Giles band back catalog as I could. I had a couple of goals in mind. With... So I got there early and um, maybe 10, 15 minutes before they opened up in the morning, I got there. So at first there wasn't a lot of people there. There was three or four other people and that was it. But as the hours progressed, more and more people started packing in. Went in alone, and I should have used the buddy system. I should have brought a friend with me who maybe wasn't necessarily interested in buying a lot of records themselves, but could sort of be an extra pair of eyes or set of eyes for me. So I got through a fifth of that place, and then, you know, after five hours, four or five hours or so, and then it was closing time. So I had to just basically take what I had and pay for it, and off I went. So next time I'm going to strategize a little more, but be that as it may. I still made out quite well. So the last few on that flip, I just wanted to show you in a little bit more detail, okay? Uh, because aside from the Jay Giles band, one of my other goals was to uh, fill in a lot of my, my Rolling Stones back catalog on, on vinyl. So I'm gonna show you a couple of choice ones here, and these, of course, again, were all $1. So the first one is the Rolling Stones. Get your yayas out. The Rolling Stones in concert. This is on the blue, whoop, upside down again, blue London label. Uh, the record itself was filthy dirty, just like all of them were in that room. Uh, but once I got it home and cleaned it off and gave it a listen, it actually sounds quite good. There's a couple of very minor little surface scuffs, not the deep scratches, but surface scuffs. Not enough to give sort of any popping, but just very muted little tick, tick as the stylus passes over that one little so this spot. is at least, at the very least, a good placeholder for me until I get an upgraded copy. But uh, even the cover, the jacket itself, you know, it was in pretty good shape, which isn't necessarily a case for all those records that were in there, of course, right? I mean, there's a reason why they're a buck. Uh, the next little goodie was also a Rolling Stones. And this is uh, Between the Buttons, Rolling Stones. Again, you can see, you know, some, some wear here and there. But it's an intact jacket. OK, 
okay? Uh, and again, the record was just really, really dirty. Needed a very good cleaning, actually a couple of cleanings. Um, and it sounds actually quite good. This one did have one little scratch, but it's right at the beginning of uh, side two, track one, which is uh, all sold out. So again, not anything significant, just a little bit of a popping sound as the stylus goes over that little scratch. And it's just for the first track. It's not even entirely through the first track. So again, that's something I can live with, especially for a dollar. Now, lastly, also for a uh, for dollar, another Rolling Stones. And this one, I, I couldn't believe my eyes at all. This is December's Children and Everybody's the Rolling Stones, monocoque. Again, really rough, right? It's got a lot of rings around there. A lot of ring wear, a lot of surface wear. Looks like somebody used it as a dinner plate or something. But, uh, you know, the record itself, very good condition. Well, good plus plus condition. Uh, it was dirty, and this one has, again, a few minor, minor scuffs and surface scratches. Almost like those, like, little, it's like a spider web sort of a scratch. Not a deep gouge, just a very light surface scratch. So, uh, barely detectable, but still slightly there. But for a dollar, again, it's a good placeholder in my uh, Rolling Stones collection, and it helps me to sort of slowly chip away, as I said, at my back catalog. It sort of motivates me to keep going and get out there and keep looking for more of the Rolling Stones until my, my collection for them is complete. So there you go. That is the end of part one of that two-part crazy $1 haul from Recordland. Uh, the next video for that, part two, will be coming up very shortly, probably in the next week or so. So uh, there you go. So as always, please let me know what you think down in the comments section below. And if you haven't already, please like and share the video and uh, please subscribe as well. And uh, we look forward to seeing you again real soon. Okay. So in the meantime, don't forget, keep digging and keep spinning. All right. Thank you very much. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.